Hey everybody, it's Saturday afternoon, I'm out here on Pretty Boy Reservoir. Not really going to be out here shooting too much video today, but I am out here fishing. And I got down to this area of the reservoir. This isn't far from the boat launch, but it's a spot where a little creek flows in. And I can usually get my kayak a little ways up the creek, depending on what the winter has left us, depending on how many logs have fallen and that sort of thing. So I'm just going to ease my way back here. And we're going to see if we can't uh, get up in this little stream for a little bit and see how far up it we can go this spring. It's my first time back here so far, so it should be interesting to see how far we can actually go. I normally see a lot of carp and a lot of spawning fish back here. There's some big carp over there. I'm sure it didn't come out on camera, though. There goes one right there. Uh, you can see all the mud from the other ones. So this is definitely an area where carp spawn. There's some sunfish, bluegills. It's not uncommon to see turtles back here. See the blue heron back here a lot. A little splash in the water right there was just some turtles ducking underwater. There's some big carp and some bass. All kinds of stuff going on back here. Now the water is actually flowing in pretty vigorously over here, which I've never seen it do before. I've always seen it coming in from this side. And it looks like this... Uh, log here might be a little too low for us to get around normally the water level is a little lower and i can go under this log right here but it looks like today it's just a little too deep i'm not going to be able to get around it so oh look there's a trail right there oh, he just went back down under the water he saw me coming let's turn around if i can i'm gonna try to do this without breaking either of my rods nope all right Let's back out of here. You can see by all the mud and bubbles kicking up, I just scared something that was down there. So now let's go over this side and see what all this flowing water is about. Maybe we can get up this side. I never used to be able to. I'm assuming it's way too shallow. Yeah, as we see, I'm about to hit the sand right here. So I think this is the end of the line for this side too. It's nice cold water flowing in now. All right, everybody, I'm back to fishing. Right, we're going to take a break from fishing for a moment. Oh, they're already starting to go. If you look at this big cluster of wood right here, you'll see a little log off to the left. There's still two turtles sitting on it. There was three a moment ago. Let's see how close we can get before any more jump off. This one right here. That one's just gonna sit there looking at me. It's a cool little thing. He'll get on my paddle. He's letting me touch his foot. <laughs> All right, little guy, I'll leave you alone. Well, that was fun. They normally go plopping into the water the moment they see me coming. 
So for him to just sit there and actually let me even touch him with my paddle, that was pretty interesting. All right, well, this is just a big cluster of wood waiting for me to get a tangle. So we're going to go around the corner and keep on fishing. You can see the wood's pretty much all over the place underneath of us. One of the benefits of just paddling without the motor on it, I can get into places like that without having to worry about it. Oh look, there's another turtle. Let's see how close we can get to this one. Coming in hot on that one. I knew he was going to jump. All right, well, I fished my way down the shoreline. Now we're at the back of this other little cove. And this is another place I see a lot of carp spawning. Uh, I think I mentioned in the other clip that I often see blue heron back here. And this is a spot that I like to get out sometimes and walk around. So I don't think we're going to do that today. I just kind of got my day started. Uh, I normally do that when I'm ready for a break. And that is not yet. But at some point uh, over the summer, I'm sure I'll shoot some video where I actually get out and walk around a little bit. And we'll see how far back up this little stream we can go. Obviously, we can't go very far in the kayak, but on foot we could get up there a little ways and just have a look around and see what's going on. So I'm going to call that the end of the line right here. I know I can't go any further. And it's way too shallow to fish back here, so we'll pull back out. And then I can start working my way down the shoreline over there. Although I got to say, this is within distance of the road and a lot of people walk down to various spots over here. So it's probably not much in the way of fishing. I might head out to more open water. Again, we're still within sight almost. If you look underneath the bridge over there, I know you can't see it on this camera, but I can see the boat launch from where we are right now. So we're not far from the boat launch again. I just got my day started. I uh, didn't really intend on coming out here shooting video. But it's turning out to be a lot prettier day than I thought, so we'll see how it goes. Again, if I catch any more uh, interesting tidbits, I'll try to get them on video. I don't know if you can see all the carp in here, but there's a bunch of them. Yeah, I don't know why that came out on camera. So this almost looks like it's worth throwing a line out back here. All right, everybody, sit tight. I'll see you somewhere down the road. not huge but he's not bad got him in the gill uh, got him in the mouth and the gill Not too bad. It's a large mouth.
Not bad sunfish. Pretty. Coming up on another turtle. And there he goes. Right, let's see if I can make it over top of this. Yep, I can. fishing through here a little bit. That's a little better. Well, oh, barely had him too. Not too bad. This is the end of the line. I'm just gonna fish my way around through here a little bit. It's actually pretty shallow up in here. I don't know how much uh, good we're gonna do, but you never know. Oh, there we go, right there. Now oh, I got him in his side. and hit it so hard it went right in his side rather than his mouth. Get my pliers here. There we go. It's a little small mouth. So as I said I'm gonna spend a few minutes Turn myself back around. Now I'm going to spend a few minutes fishing up in here. So we'll see what happens. All right, everybody, last cast. Let's throw it back in there a little bit. All right, we're going to call that the end of the day.
get my rod stowed. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And as I said, I'm just going to make my way back to the boat launch. It's about a mile over the water, maybe a little more than that. So I'm just going to take my time and ease on up there. I got plenty of daylight left. There's the blue herons right up there in the branches right at the water's edge. I don't know if we'll see it or not. See how close we get. We're making our way back to the boat launch. I just decided to stop and fish in a few spots along the way. We've still got plenty of daylight left, so I'm not worried about that. And especially since we're making our way towards the boat launch. I'm just doing it slowly. Paddle up here a little bit and see how close we can get to that heron. Oh, he's already starting to back up. He sees me. I'm sure you can't see it on camera yet. It's getting ready to fly. <clears throat> it's right there. There it goes. He just landed on shore right over there. Again, I don't know how well that's coming out. I know this camera is terrible at any kind of distance. So, all right, I'm gonna keep on making my way back towards the boat launch for most of the way there. I got maybe a quarter mile to go, but you can probably see there's lots of good spaces along here to fish. So I'm just kind of making my way up, as I said. I am packing it up for real this time, but that blue heron just landed right over here, so we're going to sneak up on it again. It's sitting right here. such a big bird all right everybody we're probably going to pass him again on the way back to the boat launch because he made a right and headed on up the same way we're heading so we'll see i'm going to actually use one of these endings so once again i'm going to say goodbye <laughs> and i'll see you on the next one thanks for watching